What's up, YouTube? Robbie Babes back again. Yes, that's right. We are back again. As you can read by the title of the video, this video is all about why I left YouTube and why I'm coming back. And as you may have noticed, by the time this video is out, you've probably already seen two or three videos posted in just the last week. So yes, I am getting active again, and I'm super excited for that. But before we get to that and why I left and why I'm back, I do have a few points I want to touch on very quickly, starting with an ask from you guys. So, what I want to ask you guys is to comment down below a device you want me to review, and I will do my best to get my hands on it, and we will do an old style review just like we used to, getting down and dirty, and checking out a new product just for you guys. So let me know in the comments down below what you want me to review next, and I will put a video out with that concept so that we can actually sit down, tear it apart, find out what it looks like, and go from there. The next thing I want to talk about, and I do have a list here as well just off to the side, so bear with me. The next thing I want to talk about is some upcoming video ideas I have and I want to share with you guys in advance. And I'm super excited about these. So we're going to start with some videos that are already made and scheduled to be posted ahead of this video, or sorry, behind this video, I guess. And one of those is actually called Robbie Babe's YouTube Channel History. And so what that entails is basically an overview of all of my YouTube channels and also kind of explains where I've been the last couple of years. And because of that, we're actually going to go through all the channels I've been a part of and help create and review them all and just have some fun with it, you know. And that's part of why I'm back, which I'll get to again later on. But the gist of it is watching some of my old channels, watching some of my old content, it really got me motivated to make videos again on this channel. But in the meantime, I haven't been inactive on YouTube and I've had other channels. And so that's what that video really entails. Uh, the next video idea I have is uh, what's changed since I left? What have I noticed in the vaping community that has changed since I've been gone? And we'll talk a lot more on that in a separate video. It's going to be more of a ramble style. Um, so it's going to be a bit longer than a usual video, probably close to 20 minutes to half an hour. I mean, at least. But we'll see what happens and uh, kind of just go from there. I'm going to take these headphones off. Sorry, this is kind of bugging me a little bit. All right. Uh, next video is um, a video on the new Canadian vaping laws. My take on them, the pros, the cons of it. Um, you know, there's not a lot of pros, but I'm trying to be optimistic here. So we'll see how that goes. And just kind of getting into that as well. So we'll do a video on that. If you guys don't know about the new laws, we'll talk about that in that video. It'll be out shortly in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, also, I have a really exciting video planned. It's going to be a live stream. I don't know when it's going to be yet, but we're going to coordinate in the next couple weeks to get it set. Once I have a set date, I will let you guys know in a separate video when it's coming out so you guys can stay tuned and come join us live. The video is, of course, a shop talk video, which although doesn't have a ton of views from my first episode we did, and obviously it'll be a live stream over like Discord or something because of the lockdown here in response to COVID-19. Uh, so we won't be getting together. We'll be social distancing as we responsibly, I guess, kind of should. Um, and yeah, so we'll be picking a topic at hand. If you have a topic suggestion, maybe leave one down in the comments below and see kind of what we want to talk about. Uh, that will be live stream. We'll have it scheduled in advance. And again, we will let you know when that's coming out. Next up, um, I have an e-juice review coming out. This is long overdue, something I probably should have done in this channel years ago. Never did it. Um, that is your hint. We'll get more into that in the actual video itself and we'll see kind of how that goes, but I think it's gonna be a very interesting video and I think you're gonna learn some things about that e-juice. So stay with me on that one. Next one is, sorry, I'm just looking at my list here. Uh, I'm also going to be doing a reaction to some of my older videos, uh, particularly evaluating how I reviewed something and did it hold up over time. Uh, some of them did, I think. Some of them definitely didn't. Whether I gave it a good or bad review, we'll talk about that. We'll have some cringeworthy uh, content to share together. And so I think that'll be a fun idea for a video as well. Finally, I have one more video I've been really meaning to put out on a channel, whether it's this one or another one that has yet to be published or even recorded. Uh, I've been putting it off for almost a year now. And it's definitely a more serious video. Um, I don't know if you guys are interested in that or not, but I felt like it's worth putting out there because it could potentially help someone else down the road um, 
if they were to experience the events that I experienced. And so again, I'm not going to get into it. I'll post that video uh, when it's posted. I don't know when it's going to be. It's a lot to talk about. It's going to be a very long video, but I promise you it is a very significant video to anyone out there. Um, and honestly, I do believe it could help someone else. So we'll save that for later on. That's enough of a serious note. That's kind of what I wanted to talk about here was just like the upcoming videos. And now let's get into why I left YouTube and why I'm returning. So the reason why I left is pretty straightforward. Um, it really all boils down to two things. And uh, I think it's pretty obvious in my last couple of videos before I kind of took these huge breaks. Um, the truth of the matter is I just lost motivation to put content out. Uh, I was getting frustrated with some of the stuff I was putting out. I was getting frustrated with the comments and the disagreements that were happening. You know, I would give something a good review and people would say I was biased. I would give something a bad review and people would say I didn't know what I was talking about. Um, and at the end of the day, what I really should have realized instead of taking it so personally was everyone has their opinion and what I like, you may not like and vice versa. So I took it too personally as the end result of that. And because of that, I think I lost out on my motivation that I had at the time. The second reason I left, um, I really wanted to branch out and do more content. And I felt like I was restricting myself in this niche of the vaping community. And yet, you know, three, four years later, I'm still a part of this community. I'm still active, maybe not on YouTube, but in other parts of it. And I think that gets missed a lot. And I wanted to really I guess focus on myself for a while and then that turned into focusing on really nothing at all um, but yeah and I guess that the perfect that's a perfect segment to lead why I'm back and it just comes down to motivation I've got the motivation again I'm excited to watch videos again you know I recorded this video on the YouTube channel history and I started watching some old content from various channels including this one that were older and I forgot how happy it made me to make content I think that's something that I, I, I miss about YouTube is how excited I was to create new content for you guys, but also for myself. And I think that's what really separated or what needed to be separated at the end of, you know, when I left to coming back now was I had to separate, am I making these for all the people who maybe don't like me? Maybe they do like me. Maybe they think whatever. Or am I making these for myself? And I'm looking back, I enjoyed watching the videos myself. And I think that's a clear indication of what I want to do going forward. I want to make videos that I enjoy watching. And I hope you guys enjoy watching them too. But if you don't, that's okay. We'll try and have videos that gear toward you guys as well. But at the end of the day, I want to like the video just as much as, as anyone else, if not more. So that's going to be a huge factor. And then the second reason I came back, funny enough, I was actually in a live... Uh, stream with some other youtubers who I used to be very close with and I hopped in just out of pure curiosity and I started hopping in in the chat not on screen or anything like that but in chat and it was on Golf T Vapes channel who if you don't know who Golf T Vapes is go subscribe to him seriously the guy's awesome go check him out great content great videos great creator um, and t paired along with him was uh, Fresh 03 Addy Tooney was also in the comments. Uh, Spork Life Gizzard Stew came in for a bit. And I mean, it got me excited because while before I was focusing so much on the viewership, I was really neglecting the camaraderie, basically, that happened between us reviewers. I mean, I've done reviews and collaborations with so many different vape reviewers. Mike Vapes, uh, Vape and Fagin, um, who else? Uh... DHLS V, uh, Homeboy Josh, um, and, and so many other people, right? And that's what I love, and I miss that, and I miss missing that, if that makes sense. You know, and that's what brought me back into it, was hopping in there for, I think I was in there for maybe 20 minutes, half an hour, just talking with them, and the reception I got was very warm, it was very well received, I didn't feel like I was hijacking their video, which was a good thing, I didn't want to, uh, but yeah, I think... The other people in this community, especially here on YouTube, have been a huge part of what's got me back motivated. 
Um, and I think it's long overdue. So, yeah. And the final reason is people who have been committed to this channel despite the fact it's been inactive. If I post a video a year later from an inactive, from an inactive state, I know there's going to be people who comment on that video. Particularly, I'm going to give one shout out in, in like, general, and that's going to be Relic Vapes, uh, Relic Vapor, who has commented on every single one of my videos to date. He will probably be in the comment section down below uh, if he hasn't already commented by now. And I think, I think he's one of the big factors for why I do this. And knowing there's some of you out there like that who do, who are committed to this channel is a huge confidence boost for me going forward. And it's, it's really a motivation to keep on making content despite my inactivity, despite everything I've been through. And also the fact that the channel is still quite large. I haven't lost that many subscribers despite being inactive for so long. Um, and I think my end goal here is to grow the channel and you know, I may not get any money from the monetization of YouTube because it's vaping related and that's okay. The truth of the matter is nothing would make me happier than to send a big F you to YouTube by having them send me a play button, a silver play button. If I can reach hundred K subscribers, that would be the goal. Just so I could see the Robbie vapes on a YouTube play button and know that someone at YouTube is cringing knowing they have to send a vape reviewer a silver play button. Even though they've already taken away our money, they've already taken away our motivation, and in a lot of ways, they've censored us. And I think that is the biggest F you anyone could ask for. And so that's the goal now. I've got a goal, I've got a direction in mind. Let's go forward with it, and let's try and make that happen. If you guys stick around for that, I really appreciate it. If you don't, I understand. But please bear with me. I promise there is going to be new content coming out and it's going to be geared toward many different faucets. So I'm going to be doing vape reviews. Again, if you haven't already, leave a comment down below on what you want me to review next and I will do my best to get my hands on it and we'll do a review together. Uh, lastly, the last thing I want to mention before we end this video is, yes, I know I'm recording in my office slash spare bedroom here. Uh, I will have more reviews and stuff like that in a different environment. This is just easier because I have my webcam here. Uh, I promise I do have a real camera that I probably could be using to record. Uh, so yeah, so we will have that coming up um, in future videos and just kind of, kind of going from there. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for hanging in here and watching this. I do really appreciate all of you. You guys are amazing. Thank you for sticking around for all these years, through all the inactivity, through all the good, the bad, and the ugly. I do appreciate it. And going forward, let's make this channel stronger than ever. Let's make sure we're committed. Well, let's make sure I'm committed to this channel and that we have some good content for you guys coming up as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, happy vaping, YouTube.